Yo, what's going on peeps? We're back with another vid. As I told you yesterday, there will be player ratings today. I didn't give a time because I weren't sure, but I can now confirm the time is right now. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share and all the rest of it. I've done the review already for Spurs v Leeds, as you know, Spurs 2, Leeds 1. I wouldn't say it was straightforward because it definitely was not. First half was poor. Second half was a lot better. Conte must have got him in that just a bit, man. He must have, I don't know, he must have gave him some some serious talking because he probably boxed man up because second half, the whole team came out with a different type of attitude and a lot more direct, a lot more positive and made the fans a lot more happy at getting something to cheer because at half time, and there's everybody so. They were booed at half time and they should have been, they didn't do anything. They were just toothless and flat. Sideways. It's only toward the end they started slowly penetrating, but nothing crazy that ooh. There's none of that. And we actually had four shots on target in the game. Considering the last two games we've had no shots on target. So to have four on target in the one game is 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 good. Ready for the percent increase, but we ain't doing all that. We've done the review. You want to know about my feelings about that? Come and check that video out. That's up now. All I'll say quick that the first half was dead, second half was much better, and we came out of three points. And if we started the, the first half the way we, we started the second, then I think Leeds probably don't have a say. Because once we were actually making an attempt, they couldn't keep up. I think they ran themselves in the ground and we actually ran more than them. But it's not not a common factor. People running more than than Leeds. Leeds usually outrun all the all the teams they face. So uh, that tells me that they were doing some type of some type of work. Whether it's running around, just chasing the ball, whatever it may be, but it is what it is. Well, let's get into the play ratings because that's what we're here to do. We've done the review already, we ain't doing that again. As I said, if you want to know, we ain't seen it, go and check it out. It's up now, but pick up the six views. It's got six views, so big yourselves up every time. Anyway, let's get to the player ratings. As always, Hugo the Reese in between the sticks. Didn't really have much to do. Um, it's quiet, to be honest. First half, a lot of shots are coming towards him, but they're all off target. I think there's a Calvin Phillips free kick he caught, a couple of them he caught, some catches from corners and that, other than that, they have nothing to do and a goal, um, couldn't do anything, the ball was whipped in the pace and Dan James was there for the tap in, into the empty net pretty much, he couldn't come and collect the ball, there was too much pace on it, so couldn't do nothing about that one, but pretty standard, it wasn't really anything was it, so I'll give him a five I guess, Tanganga, Done alright. Looked a little bit like he was out of his depth at times. He was getting done a bit in the first half. Um going out wide, trying to give an outlet, but he was end up going back because he I don't know, maybe he was told not to advance let Royale do it. But he went great either. But it's just not really, not great for him. I've seen him a lot better than that, and it's probably, it's definitely not one of his best games. I'll give him a four. Ben Davis, part of that back three, he done all right. I don't remember making any mistakes. He had a, he had a chance at the, towards the early second half. Lovely first touch, didn't know he had it in his locker. But, the touch and the shot, keeper just came out and closed down the angles, and it was, end up being a nothing chance really in the end. I tried to get a penny, but I definitely weren't. And a bit of good defending as well. But yeah, he done okay as well. I'll give him a five. Here at Dyer. Done all right. His free kick is what led to the second goal. Took a wicked deflection off the wall onto the post. And Rigolon pulled it up, pulled it in the net. But he didn't really do anything. Like, first half, the team was poor. Defense was poor. So no one's really going to get much high marks. Maybe the highest you get, maybe it's going to be regular. But other than that, 
no one's really going to get anything high. Uh, Eric Dyer, because the free kick didn't really make any mistakes and do anything bad. Five. Uh, Regulon, man the match. First half, he weren't great, but nobody was. Second half, totally flipped. He was getting in the advanced position, just going forward. He was getting the ball, being direct. At times, he's holding the ball too long. He should have probably released it. There's definitely a couple of chances. He could have. I remember one comes to mind when he could have passed it to Wire out on the on the right. He didn't take it, end up giving it away. But he definitely improved second half and he got the decisive goal. So with that, I will give him a six. Emerson Well, not sure about him still. The second half he was a lot better, to be fair. He's gone forward a bit. But his crossing and passing for me is not good enough. He seems like a he's not really the Brazilian that you're accustomed to that's full of flair and pace and just technically good footballer is not great um he's crap if i'm honest so the brazilian thing you hear that and you think oh you're gonna play on your hands but when you see him he doesn't really scream and ooze south american ability or anything he's just average at best he weren't great better second half but not great four Hoiberg, he got the goal, the first one that got us back in the game, and first half he went great, but again, you know, it was a familiar pattern in the first half, but second half came out, done a lot better, not his best, but he got a goal, and that's all the reason why I'm giving him a five. Harry Winks, this season, must I hate to say it, and I did say this in my last video, and there's no bias or no agenda here. Even though I want him out, I can be real when someone's putting a shift and he actually put in a good shift. And since he's played the season, he's looked a lot better. Going forward, more direct, passing forward, head up, actually doing a lot better. So he did do a well, he did do a right yesterday. I'm gonna give him a five as well. Harry Kane had a chance in the first half, couple of you no know, second half, right at the start, had a couple of nice touches and whatever in the first but other than that he wasn't great a lot of time he's holding on to the ball when he should be releasing it but I guess he got those goals against San Marino and he's just gassed himself up but for me not great I'll give him a three he wasn't good to be honest definitely looked better but he's looked in a while but he didn't get a goal so he's getting a three if he got a goal I might have given him a four or five or an assist, but he didn't, so sorry Harry Kane, you're my guy, but still still looking a little off, free. Son had one chance at the end, whipped it wide, had chances when he put, went through, he put it back for Kane just behind him, but other than that, another game for Son that wasn't great, I don't know, maybe he's come from his national break and he's tired. Because he probably plays every single game and he's the captain. So he probably plays every game and every minute of the game and he just looked tired. So my guy's son, he's going to get a free as well. He, he didn't look on it yesterday. And Lucas Mora, he was poor. Kept giving the ball away. Actually, I'll give son a four. I'll give son and Kane a four. I'm going to give them a four, actually. No, Kane's getting a three. No, nah, they're all getting three. Fuck it. Son three, Kane three. Lucas was poor, kept giving the ball away, winning the ball back, but giving it away straight away. It was definitely one of his worst games. I see he did get the assist for the Hoiberg goal, but second half he did come out a bit better, but definitely not great from the front three yesterday. And he's also going to get a free. Definitely weren't good. Sanchez came on, Botan Kanga, done the right did do some dubious slide tackles I'm thinking why are you doing that but other than that I think he's pretty solid pretty decent it wasn't on that long give him a four uh Delhi not on long enough not even to mark him and to Sinyon, he came on 79 minutes didn't really do much I'm not gonna mark him either Conte I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him a seven because first half was poor and he took them in the dressing room and he must have blasted the shit out of them in there. He must have been for he must be going berserk because they came out and he changed he switched up a little bit and 
they just came out a different team and it paid off so I'll give him a seven and we got the win it's his first home game in the league we got the win not convincing first half but much better second so I will give him a seven just because and that is the player ratings um, we got Burnley on Sunday so the player rating player ratings the preview will be dropping on Saturday and obviously you already know uh, review ratings all that jazz landing on Sunday that's just how it is you already know how it goes now so if you haven't done so already make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you share and enjoy the rest of your Monday as you heard that thing a few minutes ago that means the food's done I need to go and sort it out because we have dinner's daughter's dinner so let me go and sort her out and that's it until the next vid I'm out of there peace